We can multiply mixed numbers using models and equations to solve word problems. Here's a sample problem. Each batch of muffins takes one and one-third cups of flour. Scott is making three and one-fourth batches of muffins. How much flour does he need? Scott needs three and one-fourth groups of one and one-third cups. To find the total amount in a set of same size groups, we should multiply. So this can be represented by the multiplication expression three and one-fourth times one and one-third. Let's make a length model. This hole represents one cup. He uses one and one-third cups in each batch, so partition the hole into thirds. One and one-third cups is the same as four-thirds of a cup. Here are three-thirds, but we need another hole to make a fourth-third. The green part shows one group of one and one-third, or four-thirds. In each batch, there are four-thirds cups. So, each third of a cup is one-fourth of the total flour in the batch. Shade four more thirds in purple to show another group of four-thirds. And here is a third group of four-thirds. Another batch would be four more thirds, but Scott's only making a fourth of it. We know that each third is one-fourth of four-thirds, so we only need to shade one more third. How many cups did he use in all? One, two, three, four, whole cups, plus one-third of a cup. Scott used four and one-third cups. We could represent this as addition by writing four-thirds plus four-thirds plus four-thirds plus one-third. That would be three and one-fourth groups of one and one-third, or four and one-thirds in all. Check your work by multiplying with fractions greater than one. Three and one-fourth equals thirteen-fourths. One and one-third equals four-thirds. So you can rewrite the problem as 13 fourths times 4 thirds. Multiply across. 13 times 4 equals 52. 4 times 3 equals 12. There are four whole groups of 12 and 52, with 4 twelfths left over. So 52 twelfths as a mixed number is 4 and 4 twelfths. 4 twelfths is equivalent to 1 third, so we do get a product of 4 and 1 third cups, just like the model. Our answer is correct. Let's solve a new problem with an area model. Lee has four and a half jars of tomato sauce. She used two fifths of the sauce in a recipe. How much sauce did she use? We need to find two fifths of four and a half. To find part of something, we use multiplication. So we can write the expression two fifths times four and a half to represent this problem. Let's make an area model to solve. Each hole represents one jar of sauce. Lee has four and a half jars, so break the holes into halves and shade four and a half, or nine halves. To find two fifths of four and a half, we need to cut each hole again, this time into fifths. In a new color, shade two fifths of each half. This model now represents two fifths times four and a half. To find the product, see how many parts each hole is broken into and how many parts are shaded in both colors. Each hole is broken into ten parts. Four tenths of each hole is shaded. Two tenths of the last hole is shaded. Four tenths plus four tenths plus four tenths plus four tenths plus two tenths equals eighteen tenths, or one and eight tenths. So, two fifths times four and a half equals one and eight tenths. Check your work by multiplying with fractions greater than one. Two fifths is already a fraction. Four and a half is the same as nine halves. So multiply two fifths times nine halves. Two times nine is 18, and five times two is 10. So the product is 18 tenths, or one and eight tenths. This is the same product we got with the model. Our answer is correct. In this lesson, you learned to multiply mixed numbers to solve a word problem. Thanks for watching.